We're staying in the geometry.dwg file. And this time we're going to look at our polar tracking and also a setting called ortho or orthogonal. Now, basically, polar tracking, as I mentioned in the previous video, allows you to track by way of angles. Now, what that means is your polar tracking allows you to set default angles that you can draw your lines along, for example. Now, the idea being is if I want to draw some lines, I can draw them using polar, which allows me to specify the angle that they want to be at, or I can use orthogonal, which ties me to the X and Y axes in the model space. So let me show you the difference of those two. Let's use polar tracking first. Now you'll find polar tracking down on the status bar. It's this circular icon here. And again, it's got its own little flyout menu, just like Object Snap has. And as you can see there, I can specify the default angle. Now, it doesn't just go to 45 degrees. That's the angle increments. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our polar tracking angle increments there to 45 degrees. So every increment of 45 degrees, I can draw a line along that particular angle. So let's have a look at that. We're staying in the geometry drawing, we're on the objects layer, and again I'm going to go to the draw panel, and I'm going to click on the line command, and based on the previous video, your snaps should already be set, so I should be able to snap to that end point there and click. Now as I come down and drag the mouse like this, can you see when I get to that 45 degree angle, like so, can you see the polar tracking, the green dash line kicks in. And if you look at the readout there on the dynamic input, you can see the angle there is at 45 degrees exactly. Now, if I start utilizing my object snap tracking and I hover now over that midpoint snap there like so, don't click on it. And then I come out and when I hit that 45 degrees, can you see I've got an exact 45 degree line that is halfway down the right hand side of the rectangle. So if I click there like that, I know that when I come down to this point here, that's going to be 45 degrees that way because obviously it's symmetrical on that side of the rectangle. So I can go to that end point snap there and click and then obviously enter to finish the line command. And I know that both of those lines are exactly at 45 degrees and they're snapped exactly to the two corners of the rectangle as well. So that's the benefit of your polar tracking. It allows you to draw lines at exact angles in AutoCAD. Now, what about ortho or orthogonal? Well, orthogonal ties you down to the X and Y axes in model space. Now, AutoCAD is a coordinate-driven product. So it uses what they call vectors, which are lines and angles and obviously X and Y coordinates. It's not a raster-based graphics product like Photoshop, for example. So what you're doing is you're specifying coordinates for everything that you draw. What orthogonal does is it takes away the coordinates and ties you to the X and Y axes, those planes of direction. So let's have a look at how that works. So you'll notice down here on the status bar, there's polar tracking. To the left of that is ortho, ortho mode it's called, or orthogonal. And it restricts the cursor orthogonally. Now at the moment it's off. If I click on it and switch it on, notice that polar tracking gets switched off because you're basically tying yourself down to 90 degree increments as if you were using 90 degree increments in the polar tracking. But that's the only thing orthogonal does. It only does 90 degree increments. It doesn't do anything else. But the benefit you have now is if I draw a line by clicking on the line command, I can go from this midpoint here, but I cannot deviate, you'll notice, when I move the mouse. It's always going to be either horizontal or vertical. So if I come across here to this midpoint here and click there, I can't go in any other direction. Can you see? I can only go up and down and left and right. So I'll press enter to finish the line, like so. Now let's do another line. And I'll go from this midpoint at the bottom here on the rectangle, snap to it and click on it like we've done previously. And as you can see, I can only go left and right or up and down. So when I go to that midpoint snap there and click there, I know that that's an exact vertical line. Enter to finish the line command, and that's how ortho works. Now you can see that orthogonal or ortho is not very flexible, but if you've only got vertical and horizontal lines to draw, it's useful because it restricts the cursor in those two directions. You'll find though that 90% of the time, you will use your polar tracking, 
So switch your polar tracking back on and then just check your polar tracking angle, set it to the angle you need, and then close the menu like so.